Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to World Geography with Muhammad Adnan. Today's tutorial is related to how can we convert the raster data into a vector data. As you can see, I am already converted it, but first I am showing you from where I open it and this tool. Uh, first of all, as you can see, a weekend done of the year 2010 and now I uh, perform for 2020. Uh, as you can see, we have a raster data in a TIFF format and these area will be converted into the vector I uncheck it so you can see this one so uh, which one I need to select single gray band so we simple go to the raster then we go simple to the conversion here the conversion we have the raster eyes we not need the raster eyes because we have a raster data and we convert it into a vector form so we use this tool so here we select uh, the sample which we need to convert it into a uh, vector form. Uh, here two things, uh, one we need to give its output. Here when you uh, write just a name, its folder will be created automatically. So we give it to the 2020, here 2020. Now here two things uh, are most common in it, one is the field name which is a dn value which is these raster value when you select this one just these areas will be converted into the vector form and if you use the uh, use mask so the whole area around it will be converted into a vector form i will be showing it you uh, forward what is the use mask and what is the dn so just dn we just need these raster pixel into a vector form so we simply select it and it will take in little time and it will be converted into a vector form so I let us skip the video so as you can see the process will be done completely ok we simple ok it and then we simple close it now as you can see just on our area just on our area the vector form is converted and we also converted of year 2023 this one this one will be in the mass form when you select the mass so it will be converted like that the area around the your study area it will also be vectorized so this is the difference between dn and the uh, mask mask one so i hope it will help you uh, by using the qgis and rgis uh, to converting the raster data into vector form so for more informative videos you need to subscribe our channel and stay tuned with us thank you so much